Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this video I want to look at a modified slash customized Halo 4 Watcher figure. Now the figure we got from McFarlane was kind of good and kind of problematic at the same time. So this is the original one, the way it comes from the factory. You can take this base piece off and he's got this wing back here. And in the game, sometimes the wing does kind of go back here like this when they're just hovering to revive a fallen uh, knight or something like that. Or maybe when they're spawning the crawlers too. But either way, it doesn't really look good. It's not a good display design. And the majority of the time in the game, he's got the wings out to the side like this. Or at best, they're um, back behind it like this kind of. So this is really just kind of not the best design, I don't think. And this little plastic cup display thing is just horrible. So what I did was I took the spare I took a spare wing from an extra watcher and I took a whole extra watcher all together and put together this which is more often how they look in the game. They've got the wings on the side, they've got the kind of spinning orangish clear stuff in between the or inside the wings now this is just kind of like a, a prototype so to speak I'm gonna come up with a, something that looks a little bit better than this but this I think will do in the meantime and I made it removable so I can just pop that out and it's back to original but um so what I did to do this like I said I took the uh, a spare wing from a watcher and obviously I used the uh, one that came with this watcher but I connected them using uh black wire black coated wire and I made like a a plug that goes in the back here um I didn't finish doing all the detail work to get it looking nice I just threw it on there right now to test out to make sure it worked the way I wanted it to and I connected the wire in there and I left the pegs on the wings so that they can still be removed and used as they were originally so that the figure's actually not um, permanently changed he can go back to being the way it was originally so I, I made the peg or a plug that the two wires connect into and then I drilled a hole into each peg for the wings and I connected the wires in there and the wire that I used, I used it so that I could make it so that the wings were posable so that you could pretty much do whatever they do in the game with the wings now. And like I said, they have the clear stuff in there. And this is more often how they will show up in the game. So that's why I did that. I think it makes a much better display. And since this has no sort of height to it at all and they almost always are really high off the ground, I have a new stand for him as well. Um, I'm actually going to do a review for this type of stand right here so you guys know what it is and know where you can get them. But that's another stand that you can use and it puts the figure off the ground significantly more so than the one that they come with. Which makes for a much better display. So that's the new Halo Watcher that I made for myself. I suppose I could make more if people ask me to. But for now this is just for me. That's why it's kind of not quite finished in some areas. It's like I said, it's kind of just the, the prototype to test out all the ideas. But there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about it in the... Why is my camera crooked? Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. It's still crooked. Oh, well. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more reviews, more custom figures, and more good stuff. And as always, in the meantime, keep collecting.